This is Lance Wolf, and this is video three, the upper main gun. Uh, the upper main gun, the, the challenge here was that this gun is a scissor lift type gun, and the concept was this massive machine that would sit on top of a scissor lift, so the main mechanism would not be part of the hovercraft. And I wanted it to have such a way that it could raise up like a scissor lift and be set so high up above the hovercraft that it could really have a wide range uh, to increase its range and some other rocket launchers have been done like that. There's my little roll away uh, that stores all my glue and paints and uh, little pins <laughs> to clean the glues and then those are my trays for parts which fill those trays there. I usually operate with one large tray <coughs> filled with parts and uh, excuse me there <coughs> my throat's a little scratchy and another tray of the parts I'm working out of and here I've just placed or finished the uh, the cockpit and as you can see, there's some antenna under there, and that was inspired by the Nostromo from uh, Aliens. I always thought that was such an amazing, utilitarian look to a machine with these massive antennas. So I thought I couldn't go wrong with tons of antennas on it. And here I'm just getting ready. I've assembled all the parts in that, uh, what I call like a, the, the main tray, and those little cups I fill the, the parts that I've sorted out that I'm going to use. And then now I'm here decorating and adding to the original gun. So everything in gray is the old, uh, is everything that's the original. And um, you can see some clear plastic here. That's not that there's any fiber optics in the model. It's just the toy that I was kit bashing already had that. And it gave me the perfect base to work with the, with the arms that I need for the gun. The problem is it has two different sides to it, a top and a bottom. So that little green part, I'm going to have to replicate on the other side. And I had to cut that piece into like five pieces to straighten it out and make it fit the way I wanted. And then here I'm using these cylinders because uh, the concept here is it's an energy gun mounted with two massive cannons on top of the energy gun. So I needed a way to mount guns that I could feed belt feeders uh, of massive uh, armaments into the side of the guns. So this thing would just be a ridiculous uh, armament. And uh, I found an airplane engine uh, part, which is those little grilled parts there, uh, that I broke apart uh, to sort of simulate. Uh, when you're designing, you really want to think of realism here, thinking of the heat uh, these belt feeders might be generating and spinning for this thing to fire. So I wanted to put mechanism on top to, to, to note uh, like an engine for hydraulics and what would be spinning massive barrels uh, of uh, as these, you know, uh, projectiles are being fed into a belt, spun around in a chamber and then fired and then ejecting shells. Uh, and then on top of that, it's sitting on top of an energy-based uh, weapon. So there was an awful lot that went into the design here of trying to figure a way to mount these guns on top of an existing gun so the gun would have so many so much more uh, dimension to it uh, a whole different look to it and and there there's again my little tray full of glues uh, two different types of glue different types of hot glue that will dry it different uh, hot from the, from uh, thick to thin uh, even to a lot of white glue I find tacky glue works great as a gap filler plus I'm also using a lot of mat board uh, but this particular piece here it's very uh, <laughs> much more just parts uh, and of course I use a magnifier because I work very close and I try to do parts even no matter how minuscule, uh, even though they may never be seen, I still believe it, ble it adds to the believability of the model to go no matter how small it goes or how small the part, uh, it needs to go on there uh, just to drive its realism. And when I work, I work right on the model at eye level. Uh, it's on an artist's table which can raise up and down and there's cables that hold the artist's table in place so it's a great workbench but I literally when I'm sitting in my um, office chair I'm at eye level with the model and it just it helps really so I'm not hunched over I'm literally working directly with it and here I'm opening up to getting ready to put the uh, for the belt feeds and of course they have to come through the center of the rotate the rotating part for the gun to be realistic it would have to come through the center uh, of whatever would rotate or pivot so that made kind of a challenge in how to line those up and then try to think ahead for for the scissor lift aspect here I'd had to build more strength into it so I had to create a piece of cardboard that was shaped like an H and then leave it open enough uh, so the belt feeds could still go through and slide into those little green slots which will be where the armaments go in for the top guns and there's just so much engineering involved here trying to figure out where the power cables would come in for the quad gun and the belt feeds coming in for the other two major long-range cannons, as it were. And it's just finding the right parts, uh, uh, cardboard, uh, those little belt feeds will match the side gun belt feeds, 
and it's just a, a little bit of trial and error trying to keep the whole universe tied together and here I've decided to start putting uh, armaments on to just to kind of drive the realism that uh, this thing would have shields in place where parts would uh, could be impacted but here you can see how low I sit and, and how high the table is I'm literally at fa it's at face level and here I've added the parts I've needed uh, more mat board and I wish I had more video to show the belts finally in but you'll have to look for the finished video uh, when I sh to show the hovercraft with a nice background uh, and shot all in HD and you can see all the wonderful decals that I came up with in Photoshop I'm quite proud of but again I hope you enjoyed this uh, behind the scenes of the AAT hovercrafts upper gun uh, rebuild and design and again thank you very much